Talk, talk to me. WSRadio.com The San Diego Council on Literacy brings you Literacy for All with your host, Jose Cruz. Hello, welcome back. I'm Jose Cruz, and you're listening to Literacy for All. We've been talking to uh, Tiana Uribe. Uribe. I should know how to say that. I'm Jose (laughs) Cruz, Uh, and she's from the Wildflower Initiative. Uh, We've learned a whole lot about the work that uh, she and her uh, partners are doing in uh, getting creating uh, learning spaces for for families that maybe have been um, homeless and maybe have had to deal with uh, abuse abuse issues. And just very exciting to have that resource in our community. Tiana, I wanted to, uh, you know, I want to talk more about that, but also just for our listeners who are parents, it is summertime, and uh, you have done some, some work in terms of tips for uh, for the summer so that moms maybe have more success and dads uh, in getting getting their children to read. Is that Ab- accurate? Absolutely. Right. So something I do as a parent, I have an eight-year-old daughter, and, and something I do as a parent is I, I get on and jump on the web and go on to Common Sense Media. And Common Sense Media, a lot of parents are familiar with it. It gives you age-based um, a- appropriateness for movies and technology and, of course, books. And so um, I, I definitely reference them when I need some some guidance in those areas. But uh, a few tips that we could give uh, from from even checking out Common Sense Media is find books that they love. Mm-hmm. Find books that they love. Funny books, um, mystery books, detective books, fantasy books. Find something that they really love and let them live vicariously through those characters. That's really important for them to connect with what they're reading. Um, and so maybe not to put so much emphasis on, I know we talk about brain drain in the summer with kids, uh, not in school right now, but it's really important for them to connect with the book as well. Um, hook them onto a genre. So if it's you know girl detectives, if it's science fiction, fantasy, let them devour those worlds and discover themselves in it and their vo- own voice in it. Um, another one I really like is Savor the Series. So this is really great, too, for beginning readers and chapter book readers. And I'm going to date myself here, Jose. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I grew up, you know, many summers reading uh, Beverly Cleary and the Ramona oh, yeah. Quimby series. And <laughs> um, I know now we've got Harry Potter mm-hmm. and Judy Moody and Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. And so hooking them onto a series might get them to want to see what's next. Yes. And that's really important. And then the last tip I have is make reading a family value. So when we're talking to our kids about reading, modeling that behavior and creating that habit in the home is really important because kids model us. They look at us for for guidance and, and what we're doing. And so if we're grabbing the book before we head out to the beach and we're grabbing the book before vacation and that we make sure that's something that's packed in our own backpacks and suitcases, right. then that's something kids are going to uh, look at and attach to. You know, it's a powerful message um, that for a number of reasons, I mean, a lot of times when we think of, you know, what is something we can be doing with, with the kids? What, I, what could I be doing with my kids? And a lot of times we're thinking of going out and you don't have to. You can, oh, yes, you want to go out, of course, but reading with your children is such a rewarding thing. And when you say, you know, find something that ch- your children love, we mean literally, you know. Right. I think we forget that that uh, you know we get a little bit older, and hopefully we don't use lose that passion for life. We don't lose that curiosity, but we tend to take it for granted. And have a good look at the children around you, and how excited it that how excited they get about things and do something with that, right? Absolutely, and you can <laughs> tell. Um, and I, parent, many parents would probably agree you can tell when your kids really love a book mm-hmm. you know they they don't want to put it down they walk I, i've had my daughter walking around the house reading a book you know they really engage and that's that's really what's important especially over these summer months when you know when school's out um and so making that a family practice with story time um with reading aloud reading out loud is so important for kids it really sets that foundation and then reading before bed and uh-huh. allowing them to read before bed uh, out loud, which yes. is is equally as important. Very nice. Well, you know, we're we're up against uh, some new things. It's you know, before it was okay, you're, uh, Beverly Cleary versus one of the three TV stations, 
but now it's 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 the internet and everything that comes with it and the games and such uh that in a way condition our children to be alone and to not do things like reading or not to, not do things with their siblings or with moms and dads so you know what you're recommending is i would say more important now than ever that that i mean i have uh my roommates too with two sons 16 and 20 years old that they never come out of their rooms and uh uh, it's it's a joy to see them, but you know sometimes sometimes well we've created a world where we we've isolated. You, know, you can do that. You can get away with doing that for long periods of time. So uh, what you're what you're recommending is is powerful and important. Absolutely, I think you know reiterating and and uh, those family values and and having family time and the mm-hmm. space to do that is is very important. Absolutely. Uh, I I know it's it's hard to paint a picture with words. Sometimes we're we're better at it than other times, but um, are you able to post photos and such maybe on your website showing what you're doing with these reading spaces? Absolutely. So we have a Facebook page as well as a website, and we continue to post images of how it's impactful to, to the kids and the mothers that are, that are in there and, and actually utilizing the space. Yeah. So who's helping you out? I know, you know these things cost money. Uh, you probably have another job, do you? I do. <laughs> I do. Um, yeah, so... Really, our, the big heroes of our story are the women and the mothers out there that really understand that this is filling a need in our community. Mm-hmm. And so we've had a lot of success rallying with a lot of local support, a local moms, local uh, schools, teachers, principals that are donating you know, uh, tons and tons of books, which is amazing. But yes, so the fundraising aspect of it is, as you would know, highly important in nonprofit world. Um, we could definitely use more books. We right. could definitely use decor for those spaces as we were talking about right. the spaces that we're providing are, are providing comfort and stability and healing and empowerment for these children and mothers. So yes, decor, bookcases, um, rugs, pillows, creature comforts. Okay. Uh, we could definitely use those. Very Absolutely. Good. Very good. Are you doing anything with the Interfaith Shelter Network? Is that one of your groups? It is one of the groups. Okay. It's on our list. All yes. Right. Real good. Real good. I, I've uh, actually had the opportunity to work with, with them in some um, uh, grant grant funding uh, opportunities. Um, just one of those that I drop on you because they have some really good opportunities to take advantage of what you're offering. Okay. I w- I'd recommend to... Uh, um, Downtown San Diego Lions Club would would love to do some things with you. I can speak for them. And Mm -hmm. then, um, oh, golly, what else has happened now? The San Diego Council on Literacy has books, so we did talk a little bit about that. So get get those from us. We will. But but (laughs) it's not just us. It's anyone out there who cares about uh, quality of life for families, uh, young families, moms, and their children who are just trying to find um, stability, just a regular uh, living routine, uh, and at the same time having to be concerned about um, the educational progress of the children, the children emerging as readers, uh, emerging as thinkers and speakers and acquiring vocabulary and having all the things that that other children have so that you know they have the same levels of, of achievement and have the same chances to finish high school and go to college and getting careers and such. So you're, you're helping, that make, helping to make that happen in, in an environment in a world where, you know, it can be very, very challenging for people. Absolutely. And that's our hope is that, you know, locally now um, that we are providing um, an alternative for kids coming into and, and parents coming into these shelters that will help them become more literate, will reduce, you know, a lot of the things that impact illiteracy here um, in our world, as well as our own communities, such as, you know, crime, welfare, um, assisting them with education and empowerment ultimately, um, to become active citizens in our community. Very good. Before we sign off, what is your website address? It is uh, thewildflowerinitiative.org. Very good. And uh, we've been speaking with Tiana Uribe. She's the founder of the Wild, Wildflower Initiative and just doing wonderful work uh, and taking on a real challenge and, and raising her own family. And she has a job and everything, so we need more people like you. And I'd love you to come back sometime on the show with us. Thank you so much, Jose. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You've been listening to Literacy for All on WS Radio. This is the uh, worldwide leader in internet talk. And we'll be back uh, next week with more.
raised $8,000 to build schools for South African children. After realizing how many people go hungry in San Diego, I now volunteer at a food pantry. I'm spending the next year doing volunteer projects across three countries and helping in ways they designate to be the most helpful. The World Link program at the Joan B. Kroc Institute for Peace and Justice recognizes the potential of youth as agents of social change. Learn how you can help youth become a generation of leaders in action at peace.sandiego.edu. In the military, things can change in an instant. Your personal life is just the same. Just like you protect our country, you want your family protected. That's why thousands of military members trust Navy Mutual Life Insurance. Navy Mutual is nonprofit, providing current and former Navy, Marine, and Coast Guard families with life insurance, no sales fees, and no military service restrictions. Protecting members on active duty and beyond. Call 1-800-628-6011. 800-628-6011. NavyMutual.org. Insuring those who serve. Nowadays, internet devices are an integral part of your home. Everyone in your family has a smartphone, tablet, or a computer. Life is easier knowing that all your devices are secured and your family can surf the internet carefree. ESET Multi-Device Security Pack does just that. One license for all your devices. With ESET, it's simple to stay protected and save money. Enjoy safer technology with ESET Multi-Device Security Pack at ESET.com. That's E-S-E-T dot com. I've heard this is like one of the best pizza spots in town. Yes, it is. I'll do a slice of pepperoni, slice of vegetarian. You got it. And I will pay for all of that in three days. In three days? <laughs> What's that mean? Well, wait, you accept credit cards. That money's not going to hit your account for three days anyway. I need my money quicker. At Chase, we hear you. With Express Funding, card payments are in your Chase account the next business day. Go to chase.com slash express funding. Chase for business, so you can. Compensated participation, all businesses are subject to credit approval. Not all clients are eligible for next business day funding and additional terms, conditions, and restrictions apply. Tired of presentations with no impact, no inspiration, and no traction? Do dull speakers have you and your team disengaged and distracted by smartphones? Christopher McCullough brings energy, insights, and two decades of experience delivered with punch, humor, and heart. Your team will leave energized, uplifted, and with a sense of purpose. Visit ChristopherMcCulloff.com to bring some heat to your next speaking engagement. M-C-A-U-L-I-F-F-E. ChristopherMcCulloff.com. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio, to sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. 